Growth marketing is data-driven full funnel marketing based on rapid experimentation. Hmm? Let's break that down bit by bit. Hey everybody, in this video, I want to explain the real definition of growth hacking or growth marketing, why it's different to marketing and how it's evolved over time. First, the difference with traditional marketing. Now, the main difference with traditional marketing is that whereas a marketeer would only focus on driving traffic to a website or service, a growth marketeer or a growth hacking team focuses on the full customer journey. It's a much longer journey. Will the user engage with the website, for example, by signing up or by engaging for one or two minutes? Will the user feel a great first user experience and understand the core value of your product in their first experience, what we call reaching the wow moment, the aha moment, the I need this in my life moment. Will they come back and use your product again, become daily, weekly, monthly, yearly active users? Will they come back and buy again? But it goes further than that. What pricing strategies can we experiment with? What can we upsell? What can we cross sell? And also, can we build virality into our product? Can we build positive virality? As you can see, it's already a lot more than just marketing. What should capture your attention here is that these steps of the funnel in the middle are very product oriented. They're very dev intensive. Onboarding customers and retaining them often in involves a heavy hand on the product and the development side, on the wireframing side. It's no longer just marketing, and it's not just the middle of the funnel. Even at the very top of the funnel, a good growth marketeer will try to use as much automation as code as possible to come up with creative ways of driving traffic. What we're doing is we're slowly dissolving the line between marketing and product. Marketing and product are no longer two different things. One of our favorite examples is engineered marketing, tools-based marketing. This is just another example of creative marketing, choosing between the millions of combinations of medium, and message. Once they've ensured a steady flow of customers, enough to start running experiments, a growth marketeer's or a growth team's job is to use data, both hard data and soft data, to track customers along their customer journeys and to start experimenting on how to improve conversions along the way. Now, to do this right, you need quite a lot of customer empathy and behavioral psychology. What can we use from the fields of behavioral economics, such as persuasion techniques or human biases, to convert more customers to our product or service? And finally, once you've run experiments and you find out what work, we use coding and automation to build those successes directly into the product, either by systemizing it or by productizing it. Now, the growth hacker can't randomly use all of these skills to find out what's actually going to work. You can't randomly select from the thousands of tools and tactics on how to improve your metrics. So you need experiments. And this is another big difference with marketing. Marketing campaigns and gut-driven decisions have been replaced with rapid experimentations, with data-backed decision-making. Leading and disruptive companies need a scalable, adaptable, easy-to-implement process on how to run experiments faster. We've actually developed a whole process around this. It's called the GROWS process. And you can see all of the details in this other video, which we published on YouTube. And that's how the best are achieving scalability and growth. Therefore, why are you still using external agencies and external consultants for your growth? That just doesn't cut it anymore. Growth is too important to be externalized. It's time to hire and train people on the right digital and psychological skills for them to be able to use the latest cutting edge tools and implement growth rapidly. So like we said in the beginning, growth marketing is data driven, full funnel marketing based on rapid experimentation. And it doesn't really matter what we call it as long as it brings growth. That's all we're interested in, growth. Now, of course, there's a lot of nuances when I say that the only thing that matters is growth. Is it ethical growth? What's your ethical bandwidth? What kind of tactics are you using? There's also nuances. What industry are you in? How big is your company? How important is risk, compliance, branding, agencies? What does your customer journey look like? Are you fully digital or are you omnichannel? And also, how long is your sales cycle? Is it from one day to actually one year? Even with all of these nuances taken into account, I hope I've given you a good explanation of what we now mean by growth hacking or growth marketing or just growth in general. With all things being equal, we believe that speed will win. Try to implement rapid experimentation as soon as possible.